we missed you guys so much. My name is Marisol Stofla and my brand Active Kids is back yet again to actively invest in your future. Today we are very excited because this week was all about royalty and today we're ending off the week focusing on castles and we thought, you know what, why not? Let's visit Sugar King's castle here at Namab Mills because we and Sugar King will be bringing you guys a very fun corner at the Namibia Tourism Expo thanks to Sugar King because they believe in investing in your future as well. But I'm not alone with me is my super cool friend. Hi friends, my name is Enzo and I'm super excited to be here with you guys. And today we are visiting the Sugar King Castle here in Binduk at Namib Mills and it's super super amazing. Myself, I love castles. They're I love them. They're very very big and huge and wow, I, I wish you guys were here with us because we're, we're having the best time of our lives. We are. We are going to see how sugar is being packed and we see all the different products that Namak Mills offers as well yes. as Sugar King. Definitely. So we are very, very excited because it's going to be a sweet day. <laughs> sugar, a lot of sugar. Ooh. Yes. A lot of sugar. Sweet, sweet day. And guys, do not forget to catch us every day, Monday to Friday at 9 o'clock on our Facebook Zoe and Zoshi pages. That's yes. right. And we want to thank Sugar King again because without them, this would not have been possible. So today we are visiting their castle, showing you guys what they have. And Enzo and I will just be having the best time ever. But Enzo, before we need to do anything else, we usually yes. have our song time. Yes, definitely, song time. Today. And why not? If we are happy, why not sing a song about being happy? Exactly, we are all happy. Come on, sing it. <laughs> like you said, it's a sweet day. A sweet day to have fun with active kids. So yes, today definitely. we're singing. If you're happy and you know it, and a uh, one, and, and a two, two and, and a one, two, two three. If, if you're happy and you know, know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet if you're happy and you know it, shout Sugar King! Sugar King! Sugar King! If you're happy and you know it, shout Sugar King! Sugar King! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout Sugar King! Sugar King! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Sugar King! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Sugar King! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, do all three Sugar King! Yay! That was so much, that was so much fun guys, so so much fun I enjoyed the song so much Yay! Yeah, so next up we will be showing you guys the different areas here at the Sugar King Castle and we'll also be speaking to someone of Sugar King to give you guys some important messages so don't go anywhere next up some exciting things
This one is fucking still come off of. We can still see something interesting in the background. Let's see. M maybe some. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, friends! I missed you guys so much. My name is Zoshi, and I love the magicalness of castles. Usually, my sister Zoe is with me. But she is visiting my grandma and grandpa on the farm because they get a bit lonely. So she's having the time of her life, but she'll be back in no time because she says she misses you guys. This week we had the best time learning all about royals and today it's all about castles. I think castles are the most magical places in the whole world. Castles are huge structures that royals built to protect their king and queen and their people. Some castles would be super tall with a bunch of tall flat, um, towers. Other castles won't be as tall, but they would be huge. In the beginning, castles were only built using the earth, which is ground and wood. Later, they started using bricks and cement and other structures to make it strong and tall. If you want to get into a castle, you need to go through the gate. Kings and queens usually have a bunch of soldiers to protect them. So it was very difficult to get into castles if someone didn't invite you in. What made some castles cool was that they were in the middle of the water. Can you guys believe it? Water would be all around it and you had to use the bridge to get in. Sometimes there would even be crocodiles in the water <laughs> or maybe sea dragons or maybe river creatures but if you use the bridge you would be okay. Every castle also had a great hall. This was where they would eat, all eat together or have parties so everyone could be a part of the celebrations. Castles also had kitchens where a bunch of people would work together to make the royal feast. I would love to see the kitchens in a castle. The big thing about a castle is that it helps to keep the people um, of the kingdom safe. You could run and play in the halls, hide behind the statues or even behind the armor. There would also be magical stories about the people who lived there and you would get to create your own flag if you were part of a kingdom or a castle. Every castle had a banner which was a long flag with a symbol on it to show people on the outside who lived in that castle. Some had lions on, others had wolves or crowns or birds or even a fish. Soldiers would stand in the tower to see if anyone was coming. The tower would be so high, you could see the whole kingdom. All the lakes and the rivers and the trees and the roads, oh, 
would be amazing. But did you guys and girls know that a castle isn't just a big building made for kings and queens? No! A castle is a place where you feel safe, where you sleep and have fun and eat together and play together. It can be a big house with many rooms or even a small house with just one or two rooms. Can I tell you guys and girls a secret? The size of your castle doesn't matter. What matters is if you are proud of where you come from and the people you get to share that castle with. That is what truly makes a great castle. And another important part of a castle is the love between you and your family, everyone in the castle. So, I think it's time for us to sing a super fun song about families and love. Get ready friends, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Love is sweet, love is kind, love comes from a family of mine. La, la, la. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. We're big, we're small, we're young and we're old. We're all different people living together with love. We laugh, we play, we learn every day. We're all different people living together with love. Living together with love. Yay! Living together with love. We, we are, are a, a family. Living, living, playing, playing together, together. We are a family wherever we may go. We are a family. I can feel our love grow. I can feel our love grow. La, la, la. La, la, la. La la la, la la la. We hug, we care, we help and we share. We're all different people, living together with love. Living together with love. Living together with love. We sing, we hope, we dream and we grow. We're all different people. Living together with love, hey, living together with love, yay, living together with love. Yes, I love the people in my castle. Don't you guys and girls think that castles are just the best? I am super proud of my castle. And today we're visiting the Sugar King Castle. And I can tell you guys this. At the Sugar King Castle, there is a lot of love. People are smiling and having fun, and all of our castles should be just like this castle. I think it's time for my fun fact again. Did you guys know that Windsor Castle was, is the biggest castle in England and was originally built out of wood by William the Conqueror between 1070 and 1086. Can you imagine how long ago that was? That was also the very first castle ever. Friends, remember that the size of your castle doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be big or small. It doesn't have to have towers. It can just be your house or your school or your home. So remember to be proud of that and where you come from. But that it is from us for today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow.
and welcome back. So I promised you guys we'll be having new friends and I have a brand new friend for you guys to meet. So he will quickly tell you guys who he is and also what he does here at Namib Mills and Sugar Kings. So thank you so much for joining us. Our friends are very excited. They love new people. Hi, hi friends. <laughs> hi everybody. Uh, my name is um, Shawa Pala Kanjabanga. I am Mushibambu Spiki. I am the brand manager for Sugar King. So basically, I look after Sugar King and I would like to look after you guys as well. <laughs> so that's my role here. Yeah. Uh, can you quickly tell us a bit more about the different products that fall under Sugar King specifically and also Namaf Mills, something so the kids have an idea? Okay. And also, what do you think makes Sugar King unique? What sets the brand apart? Because I love Sugar King. Sugar King is my favorite of all. Okay, um, so sugar is sweet. Um, so the Sugar King brand has uh, comes in two different, say, flavors. Mm. We've got white, we've got dry brown, which is more healthy for kids. I would encourage kids to eat uh, the, the, the dry brown sugar. Mm. And then we've got the wet brown, which is used for baking and other additional stuff. So Sugar King is one of the big brands under the number of most umbrella. Um, we've got Top Score, we've got Buck Pro, we've got um, Rice King, we've got Pasta and we've got Chicken. Yes. So Sugar King is different from all the other brands because it's sweet and it gives you energy. <laughs> You should eat sugar king every day. Y you should. Yes. You should. Because yeah. why not start your day with something sweet? Exactly. And then obviously in the middle of the day we need something sweet. And yeah. at the end of the day I need something sweet. And maybe just something sweet again. Yes. If I, to add up what you said, <laughs> you need sugar throughout your whole day. Yeah. In your coffee, in your muffin, in your donut. You need sugar king every yeah, day. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sugar King and Namab Mills, they're very committed towards, especially our youth, engaging kids and making sure we have programs in place for them. Why is that so important for you guys? Okay. To us as a brand, we, our main motive is to, um, so to say, align our brand with kids. If you look on our packaging, we have a TV show, our own TV show, yeah. that, that relates so much to kids. It's a TV, it's a kiddies TV show, mainly because we want to target the young ones as they grow up. They connect to the brand as they're young and as they are older, they connect to the brand yeah. and they love the brand and they, be, they become loyal to the brand. Yes. Yeah, so that's our motive behind the whole um, kiddies feel on yeah. Sugar King. Yeah. So we are very, very excited because next week we are heading over to the Namibia Tourism Expo and Sugar King um, will also be there. We have the whole corner for the kiddies. Why did you decide upon this for the brand to, to work with Active Kids and to work with NMH at the expo? Well, I feel that um, Active Kids is a, is a, it's a great initiative. And Sugar King is a great brand, so we want to partner up yes. these both great, great, great um, concepts together, yeah. and then have something extraordinary for ki for the kids at the, at the tourism expo. Yeah. So I think all the kids should come through; they'll have the best time of their lives. There'll be candy floors, there'll be jumping castles, there'll be a lot of stuff for them. Um, it's fine if I, I just complain as well yeah, there. Yeah. You'll just let me just be there. Okay, because I love candy floors and jumping castles. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. <laughs> um, do you maybe have a message for our kids watching at home? Especially sometimes in this year, especially it's been very hard. But our kids are so resilient, they don't give up. So as Sugar King, what would your message be to them to kind of never lose hope? Okay. Uh, one of, um, we, we live in hard times now with this coronavirus. One of the um, remedies to coronavirus is stay home. So I'd encourage the kids to stay home and eat as much sugar as possible. I wish you could, that counts for me as well. Now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Because I'm, I think if you cut me open, there will be just be just sugar. Yeah. Sugar king. Yeah. Sugar. <laughs> But we want to thank you guys so, so much for welcoming us into your castle because okay. it is our week for royalty, um, Sugar King, and um, for helping us to understand the process a bit better. And we also, so we're spoiling you guys a lot today. So next up, we have a video for you guys that is a part of the Sugar King series that we have um, because we know usually it's only m Mondays and Wednesdays, but this week we're just spoiling you guys with a bunch of interesting things. So check the next video and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Look, Shetu, I've taught myself how to play soccer. This is not soccer, Sam K. This is kicking a ball against the wall. Soccer is a team sport, played with others. The way the Namibia national soccer team, the brave warriors, do it. Let me show you. Nangula, come over here. Kick the ball here, Sam K. What are we doing, guys? We're teaching Sam K that soccer is a team sport you play with friends. Hey, pass the ball this way. Toko, you kicked too hard. Now what are we going to play? Well, Nangula, there are many other team sports besides soccer. There's hockey and swimming and rugby and athletics. Doing any of those is a great way to make friends. I agree, Shetu. Being part of a team teaches you to work together if you want to win. Plus, it keeps you fit. But we don't have hockey sticks or a swimming pool or a rugby ball or an athletics track. And I really want to keep playing. This is where teamwork comes in. Let's ask Toko as a team to go fetch the soccer ball she has kicked away. Toko, please will you go fetch the soccer ball so we can keep playing? I will only fetch the ball if I can play with you guys. So, can I play with you when I come back? Yes, yes you, you can! can. Hi friends! So, since we've been having so much fun today, why don't we just add to the fun? So, for our active activity today, I have my three new friends with me. I have Semke here, I have Shetu and I have Nangula. So, what we are doing today is, since we are ending off our week of royalty, we are playing a fun game today. Da -da -da -da. I forgot to say da -da -da -da. Yes. So, they always used to play ring toss back in the old days. So we thought, why not play it today? So SMK will start first. He has five rope rings. And the idea is for him to see how many of them he can get to go around the little poles that you see there. So we are going to see who is the master of the ring toss at my zone active kids will even will make a crown somewhere and we will have a, a winner and a tournament and everything okay Sam are you ready okay he's going first friend so now we need to count how many of them he throws okay okay that's one two almost he's almost there three oh so close Oh, four, almost. Ah, oh. oh, snap a doodle do. Okay, let me get my rings. But of course, I need to let my guests go first. I can't go second. Shetty can go. Are you ready? Okay, let's count. Oh, so close. One. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Two, so you got 30 points now. Oh, so close. Three. Oh, almost four. Oh, five. But he's in the lead now. He's in the lead with 30 points. So now we are going to see if Nangula will be able to beat the 30. There you go. So let's count for her. Okay. First one. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. Two. Three. So close. Four. Ah, oh, five. Almost, almost. Okay, so he's in the lead. Now, now let's see if my active kids' activities have been paying off. Probably not. Okay. Ah, uh, one. I'm, I'm too strong there. I should, I should be less strong. Okay. Two. Three. Oh, four. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. I can't 
went in with everything. Well done, well done. Low five, big five, baby five, foot five. You're crowned the winner. Well done, well done. We can all give him a round of applause. Yes, yes. <laughs> So what's super cool is if you don't have something like this at home, you can make one. So you can just get f four sticks, ask your mommy and daddy for some rope, and then you guys can play it in your backyard. How cool is that? But we should say thank you to Sugar King and our friends for joining us for today. And also remember that as of next week, we will be visiting at the Namibia Tourism Expo happening from the 4th to the 7th of November where you can play with them and have your very, very own corner. We're going to have so much fun. I'm so excited to see you guys. But that's it from us for today. Stay safe and stay active and let's do a five second dance party and go. Yes. <laughs> okay, friends. Bye. <laughs>